Well, when Mitchell Padavana was nine years old, his parents, Paul and Amy, put a listening device into his backpack. Mitchell was diagnosed with autism as an infant. His parents wanted to make sure that his rides to and from school were safe. When they listened back to that tape, they could not believe what they heard. I kept saying, you got to hear this. you got to hear this. You would not believe what's going on on the bus. Yeah. This is just disgusting. Paul and Amy Padavana are beside themselves. You put him into their van and say goodbye and realize that once that door closes, what was going on, it just sickens you. Their son Mitchell has level two autism spectrum disorder. It's hard for him to communicate. After Amy Padavana says she spent four years driving 100 miles round trip every day to get him to a specialized school, she and her husband were relieved when Caneland Unit School District 302 offered to bus Mitchell and provide an aid. You know, it's, it's so hard when you have a child that can't speak, you want to be sure that they're okay. The Padavanas are now suing Caneland Unit School District 302 and Illinois Central School Bus. They say they were promised a bus with video recording equipment. Instead, they got a minivan. In a letter to the district and bus company from their lawyer, the Padavanas say after this transportation started, their son Mitchell became distressed. Paul and I were very nervous, very nervous. So through discussion, we had decided to um, purchase our own uh, video recording device and we tucked that into our son's backpack. This is the recording device that they used. When they took it out of their son's backpack and listened back, they were shocked at what they heard. Breathing a little hard back here, I'm going to have to chin check it. I wonder why you back here asleep, snoring. You done caught one? Right on the chin. Don't leave no bruise, whatever you do. Mm. Right on the chin, I have a good chinny chin. I was like, let's stick with this. I think when he fell asleep, he slid over and hit it on the arm um, thing right here. <laughs> the Padavanas say after that day, Mitchell came home from school, uh, door closed behind us, and he immediately went for my face. And um, I knew at that moment, I said, this is, there's something definitely going on. Want to go inside, say hi to grandma? As the family listened, they heard more. Conversations about sex, loud music, swearing, and this. What the f What are you doing? Let me go. Oh it's like, look at your belly. Uh, I can't take him serious. It just... Your heart stops. Dr. Rachel Fulmer is an autism expert at Lurie Children's Hospital. She has never met Mitchell or the Padavanas, but explains that in her objective medical opinion, this is the opposite of how a child with special needs should be treated. It's extraordinarily distressing. You know, it's hard for them. They're not able to express what's happening to them. So for them, this is a scary event where someone is threatening them. Now Mitchell is at a different school and uses a different bus company, but his parents are still in disbelief. Disbelief that, that someone could have uh, that little compassion mm -hmm. for a special needs child. Had he not give us some sign, we would not have known what was going on. And who knows where it would have, how far they would have taken it. Now, Illinois Central Bus Company and Caneland Unit School District 302 are not commenting on this story, citing ongoing litigation. However, lawyers for Caneland School District 302 did point us to the school district's motion to dismiss the case. That includes a claim that it was illegal for the Padavanas to record the driver and bus aid. Lawyers for the Padavanas, though, strongly disagree, saying there was no reasonable expectation of privacy on a bus to school. Now, a judge still has to rule on that motion. That's so disturbing, and they wouldn't have known anything without Had they this not heard it. Absolutely. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.